Hi guys, it's Nancy Martin here. Welcome back to another episode of Kenaka TV. Guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing because we have so much for you. So today, guys, nimetembea huku maeneo ya Jamhuri. I'm meeting a beautiful lady here. You definitely want to hear from her. She has an interesting story and she is doing an amazing job. Talk of beauty, guys. This is the place to be. And today, let us hear from her. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm fine too. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you. Sana uko kazi, uko busy sana. Kazi ya premium services, you know. Okay. Yeah. So, nataka ujiintroduce kidogo before you start working on her, at least so that people can know who are you and why we are here. So, my name is Clemence Mwasi. I'm a makeup artist and I'm also a business developer slash client service executive. So, that's what I do, but I do makeup on the side. And uh, journey in with my story okay. as we do the makeup. So this is my model for today. I'll let her introduce herself as well uh, so that you guys can know her. You can introduce yourself. Hi. Hi. I'm Salwa. Yeah, that's okay. all. I'm her model for today. For today. Yeah. Wow. So I think we can just get you can get started as we as we talk to be a story, kidogo. Yeah. So Clem, now I would like to take you a little bit back. Eh? I would like to really know, like, how, how did you start this? How did you start your your journey as a makeup artist? So when I started this journey, it started with my sister. My sister used to have a lot of makeup. Yeah. So one day she decided not to give me her makeup. She was like, oh, mnatumia vitu zangu vibaya, oh, nini. So waka feature makeup yake. So as time went by, I went to Dubois. Guys, you know that place, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so I went to Dubois, pick up a few items. I remember I got a foundation, yeah, Kylie. Siju hata kama Kylie and I exist to go by the way. But I got a foundation, it was really nice, it was sitting well with my skin. I got a powder, a slick. It was not my shade, but it was like, you know what? We are going for this. So I got a few items, then I started. That's how my journey started. So when was, when was this time? It was around which year? It was around uh, uh, after I finished my Form 4, that was 2016. 2016, 2017. So we can say professionally you have been doing this job for like how many years? Uh, professionally, I've been working with a brand called Maybelline. Uh, so that is like, professionally that's three years. I've worked with them for like three years. But meanwhile, before I started, I was just doing my own thing, doing it on my friends and all that. At this time when you were starting, were you charging your friends or by then you were doing no, it for free? They were not even paying me, mind you. <laughs> Waliko wana dandia za free, but you are doing it like because I'm doing it because I want to learn. Yes. So after that, did you did you go to a makeup school or how did it go? I didn't go to a makeup school. That's unfortunate. But I'm self-taught. Me and YouTube same WhatsApp group. <laughs> you just taught yourself from YouTube. Yes. But most of the time, I was just practicing on myself and all that. When did you really actually get your first client? Mnyalikulipa. <laughs> My first client, my first client, Alinilipa, how much? Can I really remember that? <laughs> yeah. It was a wedding. Nakumbuka, it was like, uh, my friend was going, was having a makeup gig, yeah? And she was like, oh, you know me, I do weddings. And that was my first time. I was not experienced. I was like, you know what, just carry me along. I don't want money, just nibebe tu nione at least unafanyanga nini. So I went with her. Uh, at the end of the day, she gave me a token. It was like a thousand bob. I was like, you know what, ni sawa. Uh, like, I was so good in eyes, so she was doing the eyebrows, I was doing the eyeshadow for the brides and all the bridemaids. So at the end of the day, nilipata thao, so it was not bad. <laughs> so for you, that was a good deal. That was a good deal by then. After that, mind you, I got clients, excessive clients, like overflowing from, like, referrals. <laughs> Kutoka yesu kuhu mde majai nitia job. Mindo nilikuwa na muitia job. Na mbeo unajua aje nimepata, nimepata job ingini hapa situende. Mm -hmm. Then we used to go together. Okay. Yeah. So when did you come until you now you have like your physical location? Like how did it go by? Uh, physical location. First I didn't have a physical location where you can get me. Because I used to work for a brand. So whenever people wanted makeup I used to drive that to get my own sales. Yeah. If you want makeup. I'll advise you, you buy the products, then I'll do the makeup for you. 
So from there, I, I built my clientele. So recently is when I was approached by Photomec. It's a... Uh, it is where we are right now. Yeah. They approached me and they were like, you know, we should do business together. And oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Progress, small steps, small yeah. steps. So that's how I ended up with working with them. So, and here we are with a studio. A studio, with a full makeup studio, guys. As you can see, this is a full makeup studio. They also offer photography, so it's a good thing when I have clients. I do makeup and they, they do photo. Yeah, they do photography. Wow. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you have you glammed like celebrities so far in your journey? Yes. Like who? Uh, Betty Chalo. I've also worked with Sarah Chan. She's an executive. You can see this Mili Jesus. They look alike from this one. So I've worked with who else? I've worked with uh, upcoming celebrities, uh, videographers. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So so far so good. Do you specifically like? Do you do groups or individuals? Like, do you have a a specific schedule that you work with? I don't have a specific schedule. It depends with the client. If you you are a group of people, maybe it's a wedding and all that. That's what we we go by what the client wants. Yeah. So what if do you do indoor indoor services? Because some sometimes maybe somebody is not able to come here. Do you like go to where the client is? Yes, we do premium services. That's personal care. Yeah. Some people want their privacy, so that's where we come in with uh, door to door. Yeah. We go like do your makeup, then you pay us. Okay. Yes. So in that case, you charge both the make the the service and the <laughs> transport and everything. Yes. Yeah. So the product plus exclusive of transport. Okay. Yes. Wow. And so far, so good. Uh, what are some of these challenges that maybe you have encountered in your job? The challenges are there. Let me t hey, trust you. Me. Yeah. Challenges are there. Sometimes <laughs> you seem to be enjoying your work. Yani, things are just flowing. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you don't have clients and you're there, you're busy posting, no one is DMing you and you're like, where am I going wrong? What am I doing wrong? But at the end of the day, trust you me, there's always a way. Kuna mtutu atataka photo shoot, kuna mtu ni birthday yake. Like at the end of the day, there are obstacles, but we manage. Yes. Since we are we are Kenyans, eh? The, you look at the beauty industry in Kenya, the beauty industry. Are, is there any makeup artist that uh, maybe inspires you? Yes. Who is this? <laughs> Foina. Foina. Uh, she used to be like my trainee slash makeup uh, uh, ambassador for Maybelline. So she really inspires me a lot. And one day, one time. We're gonna have some clam beauty world over there. <laughs> have you tried? Have you tried? Have you met Foina? Yes, I've met her. I've worked with her before, wow. severally. Yeah. Any, anything? Anything? Anything you have for us with Foina? <laughs> uh, not. I uh, per se, I won't say I have anything as for now, yeah. but I believe it's through making the small baby steps is when you get there. Sure. Yes. To traffic up, guys. Okay. Yeah. And do do you do skincare also? When I was working at Good Life, it was a beauty advisor slash makeup artist. So we used to deal with skincare, like products like La Roche Posay, yeah. uh, Garnier, and all that was all inclusive for, for make care. You recommend before you do someone's skin, you have to look at their skin the type, type of skin. Yeah. Are they having acne? You don't just recommend for sales because you just want to make sales. You recommend something maybe a micellar water after they use them they remove their makeup they should use a micellar water a moisturizer it's all about the foundation when you have a good skin it starts with skincare then you go to do makeup okay. yeah have you had any challenges maybe someone came to you and then maybe they had a skin breakout or something have you ever encountered that i've never encountered that to be honest because yeah. what i use is like i use original and authentic products so for me for the client to have a breakout, maybe you're not using something that is legit, or maybe she's having an irritation, maybe umem, uh, an like infection, maybe. Uh, or maybe sometimes when we wipe the client, maybe umetumia force, maybe she's having redness, but there's a solution to that if your client has like a red undertone, 
So there's a primer, you can use a primer, like you can maneuver with makeup. Yeah. So it has never happened to you that maybe you glammed someone and then later on. And I'm here away. Uh, imagine CJ, but I forbid it from happening because yeah. I invest in my clients. Okay. I want them to have the best. Yeah. Wow. And what, what are your plans this year as, as a makeup artist? What are some of the plans you have this year? Uh, one of my plans is I want to go independent in a point where I'm able to come up with my own like lashes and all that. Yeah. Yes. But let's see where it goes. <laughs> let's see What's your biggest desire as a makeup artist? My biggest desire is like Clam Beauty World to be known not only in Kenya, but East Africa and all over the world. Like someone will tell, I've used Clam Beauty World. And yeah, it's working for me. Someone will literally be proud. I'm using their lashes. I'm using their concealer. Basically, it's just to come up with my own makeup brand. And uh, yes, um. I'm hoping for the best. Oh, wow. yeah. So what does it really take to be a makeup artist? Someone may be out there, maybe they are interested in doing makeup and they really don't know where to start. <laughs> what does it really take? Like what must you really have to be a makeup artist? Uh, what I'll say is determination. Nikujituma, at the end of the day, is you pushing yourself to go where you want to go. Because the sky is the limit. No one, like, akuna mtu ameandikiwati, you can never be a makeup artist. It's all about determination, what you want to learn, what you want to grasp. Because it's all about practice. As I said, Nikujituma, like, niwe wa mke ujaribu hizo eyebrows zikatae, urab, unona? Like, you don't wake up a pro one day and you just start doing makeup. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any person that you are really looking forward to glam? Like, any, any person maybe in the industry or maybe a, a celebrity or someone that unasema, hi, akina tuwa. person. Uh, hey. I feel I would want to have a, like a whole range of all of them. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to limit myself to anyone. I would No, I'm open because being open-minded is the way to go. I just feel like I want to everyone, whether you are a celebrity, whether you are not a celebrity. I am the so open to any. I am open to anyone. Yes. Maybe you can shout out your social media pages. Maybe someone who is out there is looking at your service and maybe he, she is interested or he. he you do do male makeup, by the way. Makeup for men. Yeah, I've done makeup for men. Uh, it's simple. Some want like a photo shoot. So it's simple. Just primer, powder, some mascara to achieve the flawlessness. Yeah. Yes. You can now mention your social media pages. How can people find you? Anybody looking for a makeup artist out there? Um, my social media platforms, Instagram, I go by, I have a personal page and I have like a, a business page. So my business goes Clemens, Clem Beauty underscore makeup studio. Okay. Yeah. And for my personal, I go by Clemens underscore Mwasi. That's in Instagram. I don't have Facebook. Don't have Facebook. I don't have Facebook. You do TikTok. I do TikTok, but I forgot my password. But I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do have a YouTube channel, Clemens, uh, Clemens Mossy. That's my YouTube channel. Yes. <laughs> Contacts are there everything. Yeah, you can. I have a catalog on. You can get my catalog via my Instagram. There's um, what do you call those icons? I've put. It's a highlight. Yeah. I've put. Highlight, you just click the link and it will take you to my catalog. And, and from there, we can strike a deal. We can strike a deal. Yeah. So, how much is really like a full face bit? By the way, how much do you charge for a face bit? Someone would like to know quickly. Uh, I charge 2,500. It depends when whether you want lashes or you don't want lashes. Yeah. So, with the lashes comes an extra cost because you have to fly. <laughs> There maybe especially maybe someone who's just starting their journey. What can you tell them? Uh, never give up. That's the slogan I will use. Never give up. Like what my dad tells me. I don't know that day, but one day I'll come to sh I'll come to light for sure. Everyone has a potential. I don't know your story. You don't know.
ska vara just